Hey, 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 DJ Mikey Mike in the Rec Sound, and we're doing it from scratch with Chevé Show Express 6.0, and just some things that I found over the last few days uh, working with it. Um, I had a couple questions that I figured out myself, which was really cool. Uh, we're going to go to the editor page, and I was asking before, when you right-click, you had to show all values. Well, now I found out that actually, all you do is go to this bottom square here, and you click, and all the values are right there. So, real easy. Also, the next square up is the um, DMX channel value. So you can actually type in a DMX channel. So if you w if you knew strobing was on uh, uh, DMX value 100, or the strobing value that you wanted was on 100, you could just type it right in and you could go right to that pro uh, channel. So that's pretty cool right there. Um, also, there was a couple things that were really neat. Um, you can right click where the uh, little zigzag thing is here, where your step or your fade. And you can set uh, the fade to all channels on all steps. So if you, you messed up and you only did uh, a one on a, on a step and you wanted a fade, you can select this and, and copy and paste it. It basically does it all by itself, all through the thing. Also, um, to pull up a light scene, uh, there's no real, there's no like drop down or anything for your light scene to save into your screen area. All you do is just go to your folder. Um, you just go to your folder here, and all your light scenes will be on a list. Pull up your light scenes. I'm going to go to uh, part fade, uh, two second snap. There it is. Okay, and notice that I have a whole bunch of light scenes. If I open up my 3D viewer in my editor page, go to 3D. and then go back up to my editor page you can uh, watch this is pretty neat uh, turn on the 3d viewer okay and since i'm selected on the, the first step which happens to be purple or i can go to any step i choose i can change the parameters say if i want to step 10 to be uh, 10 seconds all i have to do is change the bot value right here to 10 seconds and that one step would be 10 seconds and then all i do is apply it, save and that'll save it par snap to it with that 10 second change. If I want to save it as a whole new scene, just go save as, it would save it as a whole new scene, just rename it as a new scene, and then you'd be good to go. Okay, so that's uh, that's pretty cool little feature. I like that, uh, being able to go through your scenes just like that. Really neat. Um, what else did I find out that was pretty neat? Uh, oh, let's go to the live, that's the S out of this. Let's go to the live page. And now the live page, instead of having tabs at the top, it has drop-downs. So I built a few different pages. So you can have four displays up at one time, and you can drop down depending on which page you want. So right now I have par page up, and here I want to have moving heads, and here I want to have my properties page that I designed. So if I'm playing uh, par snap, so i got to turn on the 3D viewer. If I'm doing a par snap every two seconds, and then I had built a scene called strobing, I hit strobe and all my parts will strobe. Or anything actually will strobe. I have every channel on every fixture I own just with strobe channel turned on. So if it's on, it's going to strobe. So it will take that off, it goes right back to uh, my par step 2. Uh, par fade 15, this will just slowly fade up. You'll start seeing the lights start turning on slowly. And uh, that's how you work that. Some uh, some great stuff in this. A uh, little bit different, but you know it's pretty neat. Uh, has some great great stuff to uh, to work with here. So uh, basically, that's all the uh, time I want to spend on this video. Uh, some just some things that I found out that uh, I wasn't quite sure of before, but kind of just stumbling around on it, uh, was able to find the items that I needed. So great stuff in uh, Show Express 6.0. I'm going to try to use it for New Year's. Uh, oh, and I also just did a uh, export. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to import from 5.2 to 6.0, but um, now I figured out how to export in 6.0, so let's go to that real quick. Uh, I created a new folder, and I put it in my documents folder, and I called it Show Express 6.0, and now it, it, it exported it, it said something called default. I don't know why it says default, I couldn't change the name. I don't know how to do that, but uh, we'll show you real quick. Uh, I went to the export, 
I mapped out the folder that I wanted to send it. It was in my documents folder. I hit click show express. I clicked the default button, which give, gave me the ability to export, hit the export button, and it exported it to the uh, proper folder. Same with the import. I went to import. I mapped to the documents to the uh, proper folder, clicked on the default, and hit import. And I'm assuming it imported because I, I can't tell. But anyway, that, that's how you import something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this import uh, file, I'm going to take it to my other laptop, and I'm going to import it into my new show Express, and hopefully that'll import everything perfectly. So, All right, so DJ Mikey Mike with Direct Sound, doing it from scratch, uh, show Express 6.0. Uh, leave me some comments down below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Uh, that's about it. Peace.